So later on today, people, we get a small hut fix for Borderlands 3 with actually some interesting changes, specifically to a few weapons. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you want to see more. So we may as well jump straight into this. This won't be a long video, but I think you guys need to, well, actually hear what's happening within this hot fix. Okay, so today, February 27th, 2020, we will release a hot fix for Borderlands 3, which will go live on all platforms by 12 p.m. PST. This hot fix addresses concerns reported by the community. To apply hot fixes, wait at the main menu until you see a sign that says hot fixes applied. Okay, so they addressed a reported concern that players were sometimes able to bypass true despawn trigger during kill killer mode. Addressed a perceived progression blocker during all bets off, where enemies that were dropped in from a drop pod would sometimes not appear when the player left and returned to the area. Included a stopgap fix to prevent a reported blocker due to enemies sometimes becoming stuck in unreachable locations in System of Slaughter. Addressed a reported concern that the should have cashed out challenge was sometimes not progressing when killing looters in the DLC area. Adjusted Billy the Anointed's behaviour so that they would not teleport as often during a fight and increased the chance from them to drop the alleged sprinkler. Addressed a reported concern that players could sometimes get stuck on top of a row of slot machines inside the second VIP room at Begar's birth. So later changes coming to the game in terms of bug fixes and so forth. On to weapons and weapon changes, starting with Dahl. Increased damage of all Dahl assault rifles by 35%. 35% people! I don't think I've ever shot a Dahl assault rifle, but I know I've got the class mods that would pair with this perfectly. So I'm definitely going to jump in my bank and see what I can do. Okay, so the lob. Increased magazine size from 4 to 12. Greatly increased damage per tick. Now fires a burst shot of three magical orbs instead of one. Onto the wood blocker. Increased critical hit damage by 100%. Wow! Slightly reduced vertical recoil. And onto the Malik's Bane. Greatly increased damage. Reduced shotgun ammo cost from 4 to 2. So that's not bad. And Ruby's Wrath. Greatly increased damage, greatly reduced the cooldown of Singularity Grenade. Now that is a massive change people, I think the Ruby's Wrath is actually quite a decent weapon as it is, but it's getting greatly increased damage via this patch, via this hotfix. That's going to be really interesting for sure. And that is that for this hotfix people. Now I will say I have a couple of videos coming later covering all the latest news and the future of BR3 and you will not want to miss those videos people. So if you're new around here, and want to stay up to date with everything Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on those notifications by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.